to? Hi, I'm Craig Stauflu. I'm a cancer nutritionist with Healing Pathways Cancer Clinic. And you can find us on the web at www.healingpathwayscancerclinic.com. That's healingpathwayscancerclinic.com. And I'm here today with the director of Healing Pathways Cancer Clinic, Dr. Andrew Dickens. And we're going to discuss with you today about the side effects of chemo. And unfortunately, a lot of the people I've seen in my 17 years of uh, treating and people through diet and lifestyle changes is that I get the stage for failed chemos. So these people have already gone the wrong way. And by the time they get to us here at Healing Pathways Cancer Clinic, by the time I find them, they're in trouble because uh, chemo is not a, a friendly thing for the body. And now we can help the people through diet and lifestyle and through natural treatments, medical treatments. And then we have to deal with the burned up heart from the heart port and the gut that's been destroyed and the fact that their immune system doesn't work. So the cancer becomes a secondary problem and we're dealing with the primary problems. Uh, do you have any comments on chemotherapy? Well, one thing is people talk about side effects of chemotherapy and that's really a lie. There are no side effects to chemotherapy. They're all effects. The oncologists like some effects and they call those are what we want to do and the ones that, that don't like they call those side effects. But it's a lie. Hey, face it, they're all effects of chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is a very toxic substance. It came, chemotherapy's origins came out of the mustard gases of World War I. And they're very toxic. That's what they're designed to do is kill fast-growing cells. That's why somebody on chemotherapy loses their hair and they spend their time curled up in bed hoping that they will die. It's because it uh, destroys the lining of the gastrointestinal tract, destroys the lining, uh, the mucosal lining of the intestines. So they can't absorb food, they can't absorb nutrients, there's a lot of pain and loss of quality of life because of the effects. Again, there are no side effects to chemotherapy, there are only effects. So one of the things that they do is, uh, I'd like to see oncologists do if they're going to use chemotherapy, is to do chem chemo sensitivity testing, just like in a urinary tract infection where they test to see which antibiotic is going to work for a UTI we ought to be doing more chemotherapy sensitivity testing. What chemotherapy drugs are going to work for that cancer rather than here's our three or four drug protocol, this is what you get, whether you like it or not. So again, what we want to do is, in my opinion, is to stay away from chemotherapy if at all possible and to do a much more natural approach to rebuild the immune system instead of tearing it down with chemotherapy. And again, it's a it's a judgment call. You as an individual can choose what you want to do. Do you want to go the chemotherapy route or do you want to do an alternative route? It's your, your choice. If you want to choose something that's more natural, more alternative, I suggest you to go to our website, healingpathwayscancerclinic.com and contact us. Come in for a free 15-minute consultation. Thank you very much.